ready. Welcome back to Clone Corner, and today we are talking about the final member of the original Clone Wars Bad Batch in Six Inch Black series, and that is Tech. And uh, honestly, even though Tech is not the best character, because like Wrecker, he is kind of a caricature of like, I am the smart guy with no personality. You know, he's, he's basically that guy. Um, I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite figure of the group. And I'm very surprised saying that because it has one very serious issue that I still really dislike. But other than that, um, it's a pretty cool, fun figure. Uh, <laughs> so let's take a look at the box real quick, because I like showing off these boxes. Still don't like the gray interior. I just, I just think it looks bland. But the rest of the box is really nice. I like the curvature. I like the, uh, the picture there. Um, then there's the bio, if you want to read it, you know, original opening crawl style in various languages. Yeah, it's a cool box. Um, I'll definitely keep this one around and uh, cherish it, maybe even put the figure back in the box to preserve its value. Because, I mean, these Black Series boxes, man, these are really important to me, and I really want to make sure I keep them in good condition. But, this tech figure, uh, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, you may be wondering, oh, why is the visor down? Because... I'm covering up the main issue, and I might as well just get to it right away. So, do you remember back in The Force Awakens, when, like, the Poe Dameron and the Resistance Troopers, they had what people called banana visors, where instead of making the visors clear like they have for years in the past, they made them just painted yellow, and it literally looked like a banana covering their eyes. Well, that looked horrible. Um, and ever since then, people are like, hey, you should use translucent plastic where you can. I feel like Hasbro really could have figured something different out other than just painting his goggles metallic green. Because, I mean, you very distinctly always see his eyes through the goggles. And just seeing them in metallic green, it, you know, it takes away from the character look. I don't think it looks that good. Um, I'm hoping in the three and a quarter inch scale they may, you know do something different. Uh, I'd also like to see alternate heads for the three and a quarter inch one, um, because this one has another issue involving the helmet, but we'll get to that. Um, I mean, it's not the worst looking. I'm happy it's metallic instead of just like a flat green, because they could have just done it that way. But yeah, me personally, I'm not very impressed with how this looks. I feel like it could have looked way better. Um, I'm disappointed that it doesn't look better. I feel like they could have done the proper plastic. Like, the, I feel like they could have. I feel like they could have, they just didn't. Um, but, honestly, I feel like if you flip that down, that looks pretty good. Because I don't really... I don't really see how else they could have done that visor. I mean, sure, they could have made that clear, too, but I I actually kind of like that being metallic green. I feel like if they would have painted that one metallic green and then left the, uh, you know, the, the goggles as clear somehow, that would have been nice. But another thing about tech... And this is something that the Lego figure did, even though Lego works differently. Tech's goggles are not really a part of his helmet, but are something he wears, and kind of, you know, the helmet goes over it. It would have been a little difficult to do in figure form, um, but to rectify that, they just gave him a head that doesn't have the goggles on, and it doesn't look that great. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. I mean, like the other clones, it does look like, you know, uh, deformed Tamora Morrison. You know, it is, you know, a modified Tamora Morrison. That is technically what it is. But without the goggles, man, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> you know, I don't think he ever didn't have the goggles, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like he basically always did. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not really feeling that. I don't think he'll ever have the helmet off. So, yeah, out of um, the three head configurations, two of them don't look that good, but one of them looks all right. <laughs> so, yeah, I do have to say, though, out of all the Bad Batch members, Tex Helmet's probably my favorite. I like the Scout Trooper motif. I like the, uh, the antenna and the visor and all that. And I actually liked the visible eyes, so it's kind of disappointing that this one doesn't have it. Uh, he does also include his backpack, which looks pretty good. And then he has just a DC-17 pistol, which has nowhere to store, actually. There's nowhere to keep this. Not that I've found. Um, there's no holster. There's no way to open up the backpack or anything. So, yeah, he just has to hold that. But he actually comes with a few other really cool accessories. I'll take one out <laughs> because it's kind of a pain. I mean, he's just got some tools here. Like, he's got that gray tool and he's got that one. And he has, like, these pincer things. Unfortunately, they are cast in, like, that really weird gray plastic that's almost, like, translucent. 
so you can kind of see light shining through it so it looks kind of cheap but this one is kind of a little different and actually looks pretty good and his left hand is sculpted in such a way where he doesn't hold it super tight but he can get a good grip on it so you can actually have him like repairing stuff like if he's like oh my blaster my blaster's having a malfunction well there we go you know you can do that then just put it back in there uh, if you ever look for this figure secondhand, make sure he's got all of his tools. Because <laughs> that's a little accessory thing I was kind of surprised by. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, you can see his details look pretty nice. He's got the red markings. Like the other members, he does have some scratch work you can see in there. I mean, he is dinged up. I don't feel like he's dinged up as much as the others because I don't feel like he sees as much combat. Because he's more of a, you know, technician. But still, it's a... Uh, Pretty good, pretty cool looking figure, man. I, I just like the look of Tech. I like his uniqueness from the rest of the batch because he has the lighter gray armor instead of the dark gray. It's almost white, but it is like a gray tinge. Um, so his articulation, he's got a nice double ball at the head. You can kind of see his chin poking out of the helmet a little bit too. A trick I had with the old three and a quarter inch figures was like lipping the chin and seeing if that helps yeah that helps that definitely helps yeah that definitely helps so you don't see the chin much anymore definitely recommend that if you put the helmet on kind of lip it because now it looks a lot better and then he's got the normal shoulders i don't think he has butterflies maybe yeah he has butterflies he has butterflies did wrecker have butterflies i reviewed him i didn't even mention if he did yeah he does they're very insignificant but you know he's got butterflies it's whatever <laughs> um He's got ball hinges at the elbows. He's got the in and out at this wrist and the up and down at this wrist. Nice joint at the waist. Pretty much the same as the other ones. You know, he moves pretty good. I don't need to go through and, like, tell you what all the body parts are. You can see it. You, you see how it's moving. But, yeah, I mean, he can do the kneel. Um, he's pretty good. I do have to say, out of all the members, his backpack stays on the worst, probably. Um, you can see one issue with how I put the helmet on. You can see more of the back of the head, though. So it's kind of a give and take now that I see that. But yeah, it's it's up to you how you want to do that. I mean, I feel like his backpack comes off easier because, like, Wreckers, his, his is on there pretty good. Are they actually compatible? I wonder. It almost looks like the same hole. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, maybe. I mean, it makes no sense. Yeah. At least between those two, the backpacks are compatible. How about the others? I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Ooh. Yeah, dude, all the backpacks might be compatible. I think so. That one's a little tight on there. But yeah, I mean, that's that's something I just found out. Yeah, it's not really going into wreckers. It's like they're the same shape and they're roughly the same size. And some of them will work better than others. But yeah, that's that's something you can do. So yeah, let's get them all compared. Why not? So there's Crosshair, the, you know, the edgy loner that ends up going off and joining his own band. He's like the, uh, man, I wish I knew bands better so I could, like, make a reference to, like, someone that left a band and started their own band. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not that much of a music guy to make a joke that clever. Then there's Rika. Then his Tick. There we go. There's Tick. Is he ticking? Is he tick talking? Oh, gosh. I still don't have TikTok, and I never plan to. Uh, like I said, I got a new phone that I'm recording the audio on. It had TikTok pre-installed. I immediately uninstalled it. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. There's the Bad Batch as they stand now. And, uh, yeah, definitely missing Echo um, and Omega, but Omega is happening. So, yeah, hopefully Wrecker's pose is kind of wonky. That doesn't look that good. There we go. Wrecker's looking a little better now. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I mean, it's nice that we at least have the Clone Wars team, right? I'm happy we have the the Clone Wars team of the Bad Batch now, at least. Hopefully, we'll get Echo here soon. Um, I actually wouldn't mind getting both versions of Bad Batch Echo, but eh, we'll see. But yeah, honestly, out of all these figures, how I'd rank them... Um, geez. I actually like them all. They're all pretty fun. Looking forward to the boss retool of uh, Hunter. I think that'll actually work really good. I would say my favorite's probably Tech, just because I like the look of him, even though he does have that goggle issue that definitely bugs me. 
Um, speaking of the goggles here, let's take all their helmets off. I'd say Tech's my favorite. Then probably Crosshair. I would say he's probably my next favorite. I just feel like with his weapons and everything, he's more of a... He's got more going on than Hunter, even though I think Hunter's really good too. And then let's... Ooh! He gone. He fell, just like the, the, you know, the part where he fell and then he got captured by Scorch. Um, and then I would say Hunter. And then probably Wrecker's my least favorite, just because I have bias because I don't like the character too much. And also I do not feel like that figure is worth $10 more than the others. I just blatantly do not. But yeah, there we go. There is the Black Series Bad Batch. Do I recommend this as a set? Um, I would say if you're if you're into the Black Series and if you're into the Bad Batch, yeah, I think so. If you're into this, so if you're into the Bad Batch but not really into the Black Series, I see this happening in the Vintage Collection. I would say hold out. Um, I mean, there are other ways to get Bad Batch. There's Mission Fleet. There's Lego. Um, I mean, Hot Toys is going to be pumping them out, I think. <laughs> um, so if you're not really into the Black Series, then you don't have to get these. But me personally, I still go in for Black Series clones. Not really Black Series anything else. So yeah, these were definitely ones where I'm like, yeah, I'll get these. I was pretty hesitant at first because I wasn't a big fan of the Bad Batch before the show. And now I'm like, yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan, but yeah, they're pretty cool. But these figures, honestly, I, I recommend them. If this seems like something you'd want, I'd definitely recommend these. But alrighty, guys, there we go. There is my review of Bad Batch uh, Black Series Tech. A pretty good figure besides the goggle issues. Um, I honestly feel like they could have rectified that with a removable helmet or something and then, like, dual molding. Like, they did that with Ant-Man, like, the Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. They did that with the clear visor. Marvel Legends did. Don't know why this tech couldn't. But yeah, guys, <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and special shout-out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.